What in the hell was this all about? When I went to cinema, I didn't know what I was getting into. The only thing I was expecting was it would be more alternative cinematography and from the very first shot I realized that... I was right. If you don't know what to expect from this film and you would like to have a bit of background without the spoilers, you might find this video useful because the film is quite specific and if you don't know what you are getting into, you might be very surprised. So, today we are talking about a very interesting movie, Bo is Afraid. The film started with an easy calm introduction which was immediately balanced by the chaos in a perfect contrast and after the opening scenes I started to get really excited for what has to come in the next 3 hours. It is without discussion a bold move by the director Ari Aster who doesn't care that this artistic work is only for a marginal part of the audience which is why he couldn't expect a big commercial success. I think I won't exaggerate when I say that for the majority of the population this is just too much. Not only that the film has a very strange story, but it also requires from the viewer to actively engage and think about the deeper context behind the events that are unfolding and let's be honest with ourselves, most of us are not used to things like this. Bo in the 3 hours experiences a walking nightmare during which the boundaries between reality and illusion were blurred and that confused not only him but also all of us who watch it. The film doesn't give the viewer any help during whole plot which is why many people may get tired of it sooner than after 3 hours if they are not used to such a strange style of cinematography. Even in a tangle of ridiculous events, it could be said that the main theme of this film is the relationship between a mother and her son and the expectations they have from each other. Joaquin was a great through the whole three hours and he carried our attention on his hammered shoulders until the end of this spectacular ride. It's nice that Joaquin, as an A-list actor, agreed to do this hard mindfuck. Also, because director of this film is Ari Aster, many scenes are not very adequate for a younger audience and some of them are quite graphic, creepy and dark. My attention was stretched through the film like a rubber band on my shorts until the very end when it cracked big time. If I had something to criticize on the film, it would be its length. Three hours in such a multi-genre format is extreme and it could be certainly shortened to keep less committed viewers going on until the end. I wouldn't be surprised if a large number of viewers wouldn't have the strength to see this multi-act film through to the very end. The story can frustrate many people because it provides more questions than answers, so unless you are a person who is passionate about searching for Cartesian duality between subjective and objective reality, you may have mixed feelings about this piece of art. The film can't be taken so seriously in the sense of an ordinary understanding of a plot, but at the same time it doesn't try to hide the fact that it aims at the demanding viewer and expects from him to make his own conclusions. There was also an interesting thought about how traumas from the childhood affect us and how they shape us without realizing it because everything we experience as a children that we don't remember stays with us for the rest of our lives. Some people may also see this film as a story about the difficult childhood and facing all the fears that accumulates during life of one person. During the three hours odyssey, Bo is exposed to a lot of self-discovery, which is entertaining, but it is still true that this is a difficult film to watch. The beginning of the film can be just as unrealistic as the ending, so it's hard to draw conclusions from this movie. But since it's a bizarre mindfuck, everything is as it should be. I can imagine that a lot of people might roll their eyes at the film like this, but I found it ridiculously funny and since I was expecting it to be a weird alternative movie, I wasn't too surprised. To sum it up, it can be said that it is a fresh work that is demanding on the viewer because it expects from him to draw his own conclusions and doesn't give anything easily. This is peculiar film, but it should be definitely on this list of extraordinary movies. 
So, what do you think about this strange adventure? Did you like it or it was too much for you? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, you will probably also like my other videos on this channel, so feel free to check them out. But anyway, as always, thank you for your time and have a great day!